Okay, so I've added a teaspoon, but I'm going to add two teaspoons of cumin seeds. the oil and let that cook Just stir it in so that it seems like quite a bit but a lot of the flavor from this actually comes from these cumin seeds so let that cook for a little bit before adding the onion and the chilli ok so it's toasted for a while and now to that I add my I've decided to add an ex that chilli and this onion which has been chopped And it's on with low to medium heat. And let those onions cook through before we add some spice to this. So the onions are now cooked through, they've been cooking for a few minutes. Um, so now we can add our capsicums. So I've added all of the capsicums now. Okay, so capsicums have been cooking for a few minutes and they don't have to be completely cooked because once the sauce is added it will be fine. Right, so that is Alright, so this is ingredients for chili paneer. So we've got the paneer ready there. That's just come out of the freezer, like I said, from the previous video. So I'll be defrosting that in the microwave uh, before I actually use it. I've literally just taken it out and left it out for a bit. Um, we've got three capsicums. And this recipe is probably for about three people. 300, 400 grams I've got here. It depends, really. Um, you can either have more paneer in the dish or less. Um, obviously less would probably be slightly healthier because it is cheese at the end of the day which is obviously a little bit fattening um, so you can add more capsicum and less paneer if you wish um, you know I do like the taste of it and it is sometimes an occasional treat so I've obviously got quite a fair amount of of paneer there but if you look at the quantity of that compared to the capsicums it's pretty much half and half um, I've got my green chilli there which I'm going to chop in a minute and I've got one medium to large size onion pretty a large-ish medium onion and there's different ways of chopping it so I prefer like I said with the with the capsicums um, you can either do them slightly smaller pieces like that or you can have um, a couple of what you see in the restaurants which is slightly almost an inch size and then you could do the same with the onion here and that's what you tend to see in the restaurant um, but I prefer usually to do the capsicums a little bit smaller and the same obviously then again with the onion you kind of need to keep them both roughly the same um, or you can have them sliced this way um, but I'm going to be doing it this way, just showing you the options. It's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Um, 
the spices and flavouring is at the end of the day what's going to make this dish taste good. Um, and it's your preference, really, how you want to adjust it. Okay, I'm actually going to empty the paneer onto a plate because, like I said, I've used, well, I've bought this from the shop and then frozen it because sometimes you don't know when you're going to use it so it's always handy to do that um, unless you know you're going to make it quickly in which case you can just keep it in the fridge um, so I've emptied it onto a plate because I don't really want to use the plastic in the microwave and then that's just going to go in the microwave um, maybe for 10 minutes um, just have a look at it take it in take it out have see if it looks like it's softened um, if not keep it in there for a little bit longer make sure you've got the def defrost um, button on your microwave and not the normal button and this is something that you would probably normally do first um, if you have happened to frozen your bunier and while that's getting defrosted then you can be chopping um, chopping the capsicums and onions and just since I happen to have taken the onion out, I just want to show you this little bag which I got. I got it from John Lewis, um, and it's called an onion store. And apparently, according to this, it just it's supposed to keep your onions fresher for longer. Um, and it's got a blackout lining inside. And I've also got one for potatoes. Um, and it says it provides a dark environment you're not going to see that very clearly on here but anyway um, it says it provides a dark environment for onions to be stored which prevents sprouting the drawstring and opening enables easy access and the side zip ensures onions at the bottom of the bag are used first um, and I got that and it's basically just three pounds um, so I got one of those from John Lewis uh, just just since it's there I just thought I'd show you and it has a zip on the side so the idea is you put the onions in from here and the, as you need to top up your store of onions they'll go in at the top the oldest onions will be at the bottom use this zip and you use it from the bottom just thought I'd add that to you just to let you just share that all right, um, this is my chilli, uh, so I've obviously taken the top off, slit it, and I've taken some, not all, but some of the seeds out, um, because sometimes it can be too hot, and it's not always good for certain people to have these seeds, um, particularly men, um, so I tend to take it out. Um, and you can then adjust the flavour um, using the minced green chilli paste. I, I often use that. Or if I've made some of my own fresh chilli paste, um, I'll add add that. Um, so, but it's entirely up to you if you want to keep the seeds in. You will. You can do the hotness of the dish obviously comes mainly from the seeds that's obviously where a lot of the chilli actually comes from so it's it's your choice so I've chopped the chilli that you saw before just look like that um, into these tiny little pieces and you can also add Pretty much a whole chili with even with the seeds in but provided you take it out um so you can chop chop off the head slit it um maybe cut it in half and then add that also to the dish but then remember to take it out before before you serve it um so i will probably do that since i haven't actually got any green chilli paste um, just to add a bit of a hotness so but you don't need that you you wouldn't need this if you're going to use the green chilli paste otherwise it, it is 
probably going to be too hot um, and I'm making this dish to medium hot uh, because that is the temperature that I can tolerate I'm not someone who can eat extremely hot food but if you can by all means use more so here's my wok I've literally just put it on heat medium heat um, just going to allow it to heat up a tiny bit before I add any oil to it and you can do that with a wok probably not with a normal saucepan um, but when you do Chinese cooking you you are allowed to do that and I'm just going to use some oil I've got here sunflower oil you can use olive oil as well um, there's nothing to stop you from using that because that's also quite healthy um, vegetable oil so I'm going to use some of the sunflower oil and I'm going to pour in I would say that's two to three tablespoons of oil so there's a fair amount of oil in there I do tend to use a little bit more but if you want to use less you can use a little bit less um, but with the paneer it will soak up quite a bit of the oil as well so to avoid sticking it's useful to have a little bit more oil in there so it's coated the pan and it's probably a little bit more so that's on there and then we're going to add some spices and then our onions and chilli will go in there next and since the paneer has already I've, I've bought a packet which has already been fried um, I don't need to do anything extra with it but if, if I'd bought the plain packet then I would have to yeah I would have to add that in fairly soon before I add the, the capsicums but in this case I'm going to do it the other way around so here's my spice tin and I'm not going to use everything in here um, I've got mustard seeds but I wouldn't use that for this there's cumin seeds, judo here sorry I'm I'm using my mobile phone to record this um, it's pretty good but not necessarily a sharp close up uh, so anyway this is dana judo which is cumin and jiru powder mixed together and you usually can buy that by itself um, we've got some dudge here with cinnamon sticks and I might I may use that I may not um, there's turmeric there which I'll definitely be using Dana Jiru I'll be using Jiru I'll be using I won't be using the dried chilies I will probably be using a little bit of the red chili powder less for the a little bit for the heat but not as much more a little bit for color um, which I'll also get from adding tomatoes all right so this is now hot enough uh, you can see that it's the oil was pretty hot so I'm going to turn turn that down a little bit you don't want it to be so hot that it burns everything um, so if it does get to temperature where it's a little bit too hot then turn it down um, and I'm going to use at least a tablespoon of jiru which I'm going to wait for a little bit for allow it to cool down Okay, and here's another ingredient that we'll be using, chopped tomatoes, which even though it says chopped, it needs to be finer because they're chopped but they've still got chunks in them, so I always buy the chopped ones, but I still use a blender, so um, 
price wise they're the same as even having the big plum tomato so I just I go with that um, so I'm gonna add it to this jug which is fairly deep just because it's a lot easier um, to blend in here I haven't got the other type of blender well actually no I have but uh, I've also got the hand blender which I find a lot more convenient to use and quicker to clean as well um, so I'm just going to use my hand blender to blend those tomatoes right okay so that's now been blended using the hand blender um, in the meantime I've actually switched off the wok uh, purely because I'm, I'm also trying to show you um, these other ingredients which normally I would have done first before turning that wok on um, garlic paste ginger paste or fresh whichever you prefer um, I use these that they actually taste perfectly fine um, just for convenience to be honest um, and if you were to use it I think maybe a teaspoon of garlic is maybe one or two um, of the individual uh, garlic pieces ginger you know a teaspoon of that would probably be uh, maybe uh, medium small to medium size bulb or ginger piece sorry uh, and uh, then you'd use a herb meal and blend it um, so this is obviously just much easier it's convenient and a lot of people are using um, these pastes now because it just saves um, a bit of time Right, so the capsicum is in the, in the wok, let it cook in for a little bit. Then we add chopped but blended tomato, that's one tin, 200 grams. And the capsicum will cook in this sauce. Make sure you mix everything in properly so everything's covered. And now add some spices. And about three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric. And I mean these are the spoons that come with the tin, so two of these spoons is usually about a teaspoon. So I'm going to add three teaspoons of dana jiru. Three quarters of a teaspoon of red chili powder. Bearing in mind we've already put chilies in here. Um, so if it's not hot enough we can just add more later. And then salt will also go in here but I'll put that in last. Salt kind of brings all the flavours together. And now we're going to add a heaped teaspoon of garlic paste. Make sure I'll add a little bit more. Oops. And the same with the ginger. So it's about Two teaspoons. If you don't like it with that much spice, then obviously do half and then taste it and see if you want to add more. And this is basically ready. Once the once it's had a little bit, so about I'd say about allow it to simmer for about eight eight minutes. You might want to turn the heat down a little bit. 
so it still needs to have some sauce to it so you don't need it to be completely dry okay and I just literally added a bit of water to the jug just so I can get most of the tomato out of the jug um, and obviously you then have a little bit more liquid to help it cook stop it from burning really because if you haven't got enough liquid in there it will stick and the final ingredient to this is salt <coughs> excuse me so I'll add Teaspoon of salt. I'm trying to work with one hand here because I'm using the mobile to record. I don't tend to use that much salt, so I tend to use about a teaspoon. And this amount of chili paneer is for three people and there are different ways of making this you can also use lettuce um you can have less tomato in there so it's a bit drier in a lot of restaurants you'll see that maybe if they do a slightly dry version but i actually prefer this um so this is my version and that's just going to cook like i said for maybe another six seven eight minutes keeping it on low heat Checking on it so it doesn't stick or burn. Um, I'm actually going to add half a teaspoon of, well, half a heaped teaspoon of garam masala. Just to add a little bit of heat. Slightly different from the chilies, it's a different type of heat. Don't have to. I normally don't do it with it, but I'm going to try it this time. So I don't have any lettuce to add to this, but you can do, like I said. And normally you'd have chopped coriander, which you'd add probably right at the end, um, just to garnish it. But I, I've run out of coriander, so I'm not going to add that today. But normally I would recommend that you add some coriander. So 